hello friends welcome to our third lesson in this lesson we are going to make a calendar for a project in the previous lesson we have created a new project in the name of diesel tank in the first lesson we have created an enterprise structure for the reliance industries in the name of reliance industries and we have added several enterprise structures okay if you didn't watch the previous video you go to the our playlist and you can watch the previous video in this video we are going to create a calendar okay for the project diesel tank okay let's start the video for creating the calendar go to enterprise in the menu bar and click calendar calendars in the menu bar okay the calendar window will open you need to click the project button the radio button project button here okay then we have we don't have any calendars for the project until now so we'll create a new project calendar click the add button here in the calendar tab and your uh, list of calendars will display there this is a template of calendars from the primavera database and you can select which calendar you need we are uh, going to select the seven days a week calendar we are going to work all throughout the week uh, for this construction of the tank so we will select seven days a week uh, you just click on this and click select button then this calendar will be selected here and rename it as CL TK 001 calendar for tank 001 okay now we have successfully created a calendar now we need to do some modification for this calendar we need to change the uh, working hours for this calendar okay okay we will click modify okay now click the detail work hours per day now uh, as per our plan from our uh, management we plan to start our work from 6 o'clock until 11 o'clock and 11 to 12 is our break time then 12 to oh, 3 o'clock is our working time okay 8 hours a day so uh, you can see there is two boxes uh, here this box is uh, half an hour and the other box is half an hour which means this is uh, half an hour uh, to 2 to 2 30 and this is 2 30 to 3 o'clock okay now if you click in a double click in any box it will become working hours if you double click in any box it will become working hours and if you need to uh, make it non-working just double click okay now we will start this uh, we will uh, keep on 6 o'clock and double click so before that we need to do this for every day so you need to go to work week click to work week and you can see every day is here so you click the shift button and move your arrow downside so that every day will be selected and now you can do it only one time so that it will be easy uh, now I am going to keep in the 6 o'clock and double click it will become working hours working hours working hours we have the lunch break at 11 o'clock so I will make this non working hours 11 to 12 12 to 3 then ok so now you can see 1 2 3 4 5 hours 6 7 8 hours totally 8 hours a day working hours ok now we have finished our assigning the hours so then click ok now we, are, uh, we have successfully created then click ok then click close ok now we have successfully created our calendar now we need to assign the calendar for our project you just cl click in the project double click in the project sorry click in the project one time and go to the defaults tab here there is an option called calendar just open it and you can see the created calendar here if the calendar is not visible you need to change it here because we have created the calendar for the project if it's in the global calendars you cannot find the calendar so make sure it's in the project calendars and you click here now we have successfully created the calendars okay uh, in the uh, in the next lesson we will see how to create the wbs please uh, like the video if it is useful for you we will discuss in detail how to create the primavera pre six project planning for a construction of a new storage tank thanks for watching have a great day